Um, they have their guards back. Uh, they had injuries last year. I think Lane Johnson was out sometimes, and uh, um, the left tackle was, I think it was his first year starting, so um, they're obviously a little more cohesive this year, and I think they're one of the best units in the league for sure. Um, so it's going to be a challenge for us, and uh, with a mobile quarterback, it makes it even more of a challenge. So it'll be it'll be fun. What, what kind of look did Trey Lance give you in practice? Very good look. Uh, just scrambling and uh, finding the the hole and getting out on the edge and making throws downfield. It's pretty realistic for us. Yeah, that, that realism is different than what you've had in the past, right? Didn't you used to have like Richie James might come in or, or whatever? Does it take yeah. a little bit more? On balance or off balance? Yeah, I think it's actually a really, really good look for us. Um, and it gives us, like you said, a realistic look at um, if you get out of your rush lane, what's going to happen. Was that, was that something that, uh, looking back last year, I know you guys played Tyler and Russ four times a year. Was that an area that, that you felt like really needed to be buttoned up uh, heading into this season? Um, yeah, I mean, he's... This uh, this guy is definitely different than Kyler, um, and uh, and different than Russell. Um, but yeah, it, it really is tough. It's a game plan thing. You have to game plan for for guys like that, and uh, just be disciplined throughout the game. How is he different than Kyler? Yeah. Um, I mean, Kyler's been he's three years under his belt. Uh, He's, uh, I'm no quarterback coach, but, um, but, uh, I mean, Jalen's just getting his feet on, feet wet in the league, and, um, he, uh, he's not really looking to run like Kyler is. Kyler's looking to run, and, um, I think Jalen wants to get rid of the ball, but, uh, if he has that chance, he'll take it. Yeah, it's huge. Uh, just recognizing it, whatever keys we have with the offensive line, and and then just running, like Chris loves to say, just run to the ball, and uh, that's really important for us because that could be game-changing plays. Bugs out here. Does that also just fall into like second efforts? I mean, that's kind of like just not giving up on the play. But yeah. Yeah, I think last week we. We definitely could improve upon last week and um, just get our effort going. It's 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 not as much like a want to thing because we all want to give effort, but you actually have to think about it and and uh, focus on when the play when the ball's out and start running. Nick, how do you feel about your first game back? It was uh, it was nice just to get back out there and um, get 50 plays on turf and feel great. Um, so I'm ecstatic about that and just being back with the guys and um, knowing that my body is ready for a season and i um, going to fix whatever issues um, technically I had and improve. Were you more sore than usual on Monday and Tuesday? Um, I was sore for sure, but um, it wasn't much different now. You mentioned turf. Was, was there any trepidation specifically about coming back uh, on, on turf in your first game? Uh, I tried not to let the, let there be, but uh, it's always in your head a little bit. But I felt really good, so I wasn't. Once I got going, I, I was fine out there. A couple more guys. You said that you had all sorts of plans uh, in in year two for things that you wanted to add to your game that you couldn't. Um, obviously, but did, were you able to kind of work on those things uh, against Detroit? Did you kind of fold new, new moves, techniques? In? Um, I wouldn't say I, I uh, drastically changed anything or did anything super differently. Um, but there are certain things that I, I, uh, I'd like to add and just make part of my game. So it's not really a. Uh, something I'm thinking about it just kind of happens um, but
but Detroit was kind of like just getting my feet back under me, and I think I'm going to improve. Uh, just technically, I have things to get better at, and um, just getting off the ball, and all the things that come with just reps. Um, but physically, uh, I'm there. I'm feeling good. Rick, obviously, last one. The secondary is not as good without Jason Perrett. Somewhat of a stupid question because you guys, as pass rushers, are gonna, not going to suddenly try harder. Uh, but is there like a more of a burden, or you know? to make sure you take care of the secondary? Um, I mean, no, it, it really sucks that he's gone, but uh, we definitely have some good corners to back him up, and um, it'll be interesting to see who we plug in there. And um, But I'm confident we got a, a good vet now with Josh Norman, and hopefully he'll bring a good presence to the, to the room and um, Demo, the rookie's been really impressing. So, and then obviously E Man, we're super confident in to be a lockdown guy. So, we should be good. What have you noticed about Demo? Um, he's quiet. Uh, I I really haven't been paying attention to his game very much, <laughs> but it doesn't seem like anybody has made any plays on him. So it seems like he's doing good. <laughs> All right, thanks, Nick. Thank you. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe.